Okay, guys, let's give you a little sneak peek into my dining room. I'm setting up my dining room. I'm not finished yet. And I'm setting up my living room. It's a little untidy right now, but when I finish, you guys are going to get the second view on this on the next video. So let's go right into it. Okay. Let's turn on some lights. Have to turn on this light. Okay, so I can give you a little rundown on the things then. So this little mat, you call it place mat. I bought this uh, eight of them at amazing savings they're like a couple cents so you can fix up your your dining room and it don't cost a lot of money okay so this i bought this piece of material and my cousin-in-law make the mat um the table cover for me i bought this little silver thingy for like two dollars something a yard um and she just sewed this around it. So I put the placemat and this tray. Let's see. This tray, I bought it at on Amazon, 12 of them. And these, um, um, these little thing, accessories for this I will have bought this on Amazon. A pack of them, very cheap. And these also I bought them on Amazon, like them very cheap. The plate I bought it at Macy's. So I buy a um a forty piece at Macy's. Okay, so. So soon I'm gonna set up my table. Okay, so this bottle here was like for a couple cents, not even a dollar. Just my cousin gave it to me. It's sprayed in silver. And kind of put a little decoration um on it. You see those silver thing? These wine glass, I have them for a while, a couple of years now. So I just mix match them and I put um for them because I have them a long time so i need to get us another bottle for the other side all right so same thing here okay so this now she bought these flowers at michael's and they're pretty cheap and she bought the glass and she put these thing around them so pretty them now very cheap okay so today i went to abby Labby and i bought these kango ola well, these are not that cheap, but there's cheap one there. But I like nice things, so I get them. And I also buy these Kango Ola things. They're beautiful. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. I'm just loving this. So, I bought this Kango Ola. I'm going to set them up with candles, but I don't fix it up yet. So, I'm just giving you a sneak peek. Um, And also, because you'll see the rest when I finish. But... This is just a setup. Um, we're setting up the table. So you will see it when I'm done before Thanksgiving. It's taking me some time. Okay, so here we go now with the, the curtains. So these shears, I bought them at the fabric store. This Valance, I bought it at Macy. Um, it didn't have this on it. I buy this at the fabric store, this lace, and then my cousin sew it on. So, just showing you how you can actually use your hand and make fashion. These are the buttons. I bought them on Amazon. And I get a bunch into a little pack for $8. So, I should just tuck them on there. So, this picture frame. It was brown right here. I sprayed in silver. 
because I'm doing silver and white. So, I mean, the brown could stay because the table is, is also a, the same color, but just trying to bring it up more in silver. Um, so, I tacked two of these on them. Okay, so these now, um, the curtain rods, right? I go online and I saw the curtain rods for like $54 for the curtain rods that I want. So, what I did was get the get the cheaper um the cheaper curtain rods you don't even notice that them um them cheap because the valance cover them but them cheap but what i did was actually go and get the ball the ball is for eight dollars per pair so it turns out to be like less than I think the rides was like three dollars something and the ball for a pair was eight dollars so i ended up spending like about twelve dollars for one and when you look online you see them for fifty four dollars and all of that so i make my own curtain rides for like twelve dollars so guys you can actually use your and make fashion okay so with this the tie back now we're not finished yet just showing you a sneak peek so this is the tie back and um it's the same material like what i buy on the table because it was like six dollars per yard for this gray material so i'm going to put a going, all right i'm going to put one of these on here on the tie back or maybe one with just silver kind of tuck it right here as you can see the pin is still there Side door. so it's not finished yet so we're gonna actually get it to type to put it on Side the wall door. right now so so yeah that's it okay so for the fireplace now because i'm doing silver as i said silver and white so i have this a while so i'm gonna spray it in silver it's really nice and it's antique but I'm gonna put silver spray on it right okay so I wish I could actually spray this too but I was trying to do some decoration on it to kind of get it um, to look nice but when I finish with it you guys are gonna see this thing it's gonna be pretty um, with this basket now it was like that so I spray it in silver as you can see and then I'm gonna put right here in white so I've sprayed the basket with silver um, spray so right here I'm gonna take off the tape and put white right here I'm gonna put white so that's how you can actually decorate your home okay so with this now um, I bought them at home goods they're pretty cheap so as I said this is gold so I'm definitely going to turn it into silver. Don't ask me how I'm going to do it, but you will see it in my next video when I do it. Um, so I have these little cushions. They are too small for this sofa. So I think I'm just going to donate them. Um, so I get some big ones. I did get these color ones for the summer, for fall, spring, whichever but i'm going to make a cover for them i buy the material today pretty cheap so i'm not gonna buy these i bought at costco they're pretty nice so i have these a while so i'm going to cover them make cover for them i buy material today for like um pretty cheap so all of these i'm going to cover them in white and silver okay so yes guys so this is what i'm doing at home okay so here is one of the the rod the ball for the rod pretty nice right eight dollars per pair pretty nice and here you go this one already packed with the buttons so just need to 
get the hook now to put it on the wall and bring it up. So guys, you could actually decorate your home. Look at that. Isn't that nice? We're not finished. I'm going to take them down and iron them. I just put them up to see what they would look like. But they're not ironed yet. And with all these photos that is here, you see the colors? I'm going to paint them, spray them, I mean. I'm going to remove the pictures and put them in white and silver. You have silver spray and you have white spray. So you see all these different color is no longer going to be there. They're not going to be there. I'm going to change them in white and silver because I'm doing the place in white and silver, guys. So, what else did I buy at my cards? Yeah, these nice tray. Oh my God, I love these. They're so pretty. Okay, so I'm just showing you a sneak peek and what I'm going to do. So with this, I bought this lately at Own Goods and I'm looking to put it somewhere but I still don't find nowhere to put it yet so but um, I'm gonna spray all my colors in white and silver so there you have it guys so let me know what you think about me setting up yes that is going to move I'm gonna move that you will see see what's gonna go there this my cousin make it for me isn't this cute it's a it's a frame so it wanna is a pair so this is actually gonna go on the wall look at this it have light in it guys so see it's a frame so you put it up on the wall see it's not done yet still setting up so you will see it in the next video tell me what you think guys okay bye